know, one of the things that's uh, very, I'm very, very curious about when I was um, testing panels in a church was um, uh, its propensity to withstand getting into a feedback mode with an open microphone. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, I think it's related to the things that we had been we have been discussing today relative to impulse response and how it actually uh, puts energy into a given space. Yep. But what's your experience been with uh, with that? I mean, what I know that I can go with a live mic and walk in front of a panel, and it's very unlikely. It's microphone dependent, mm -hmm. but it's very unlikely that I can actually get it go to go into immediate feedback. Yep. Which is a great uh, attribute, especially in places like churches and when you have a lot of folks with microphones in their hands that don't do this for a living. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. But uh, what's, uh, what's your thinking on it? What's, what, what, has been, uh, uh, what has been some of the data points that point to this characteristic actually yeah. um, occurring? Sure. Again, it, you know, it comes down to the nature of the impulse response, the, the actual nature of the, the physical nature of the energy that's coming off this object. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we know for, for feedback to occur, you need a very defined path that the energy can circulate through. Um, and again, if you have a phase coherent, strongly, significantly phase coherent source, like a direct radiator, a horn, or whatever, then that energy coming out from the speaker, as we know, is, is, is coming out in coherent wave fronts um, related in, in phase. Now, if you have a, diff a predominantly diffuse source, like a, like a DML, that energy coming out, uh, yes, a little bit at the very beginning, is, is, is a phase coherent. Um, and so, yes, we don't say we're, we're not going to completely eliminate feedback, but we know that a significant proportion of the energy is this diffuse, unphase correlated energy. And so it's almost impossible for that to build up a, a feedback loop. Mm -hmm. So, yes, so if that's the energy coming off the panel is significantly not able to generate a feedback loop, you're not going to generate feedback. So, okay. Yeah. So th that's... Uh it's one of the, I don't know, it's, it's a very strange thing to wrap your head around mm -hmm. because uh, most of, uh, almost my entire life when we were doing sound checks, et cetera, we're always extremely cognizant of where the microphone head is placed yep. relative to the mains. Mm -hmm. And you know, one of the times that, uh, one of the very first times that I had ever gone to a demonstration of the technology, there were microphones placed right in front of the panel. Right. And not only placed in front of the panel, but nobody standing in between the microphone and the panel. Right. And I saw that uh, that channel was live and nothing was happening. Right. So either the channel was dead, the panel was dead, or the microphone was dead. And neither one of those, <laughs> right. none of those things were actually happening. It was live. Yeah. Um, I, I just, yeah, maybe just give a, a good, a simple analogy that kind of explains... Um, some of this, this feedback effect that I use often to describe this is, imagine you've got a, a, a child on a swing and you push them and they, and they swing out and they swing back and you can watch them and you can predict their motion very, very easily. And if you want to add more energy into their swing, you step up and just at the right moment you give them a kick. And that's kind of what happens in a, in a feedback loop when the energy comes in at just the right moment and it knows exactly, you know, the timing is all there sure. and, it, and it goes. If you now have a line of kids, let's say 100 in a line, and you get them all swinging. You have to run down the line, you have to get one swinging, get the other one going, and then you have to run back and start another one again. If you were to inject some energy at some point, then yes, you might hit one kid out of 100 and inject some energy there, but still the 99 other kids are all swinging pretty randomly. And so you're not, in that sense, you're not building up a, a significant effect of, of feedback. 